be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Outside. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing out. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shop. You can never escape the lighthouse I'm here. I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think every day here... Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture.
I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You are welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture to Everybody He plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> picture of mom and dad. Hello Jack, kiss kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Imagine a world without you. American girls I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side It looks like she's been gone for months They should just call it a sugar machine That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out no one can tell where your heart is American girls like dollies With shiny smiles and plastic bodies Empty, good Nobody can see my meltdown Except for me I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. 
You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of Damn, a photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane. Can I actually reverse there time? Go, Victoria? What? Can you give I me actually a did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human condition time in black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak Arvis. out. Not there yet. You go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel when like I took my selfie. Right Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, mm -hmm. a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max. As a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can tell. Since the early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can remains I save that her? the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process, the gate. I'm sorry, I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me what after class. The French painter. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to Gary Oates. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. 